everybody and welcome back. I hope you're all doing amazing. I am coming back to you after a little break as a married woman. Um, in my last whisper ramble, I kind of updated you guys on what my, well, one of my partner's wedding plans were in summary, basically not very much. <laughs> we decided against a big wedding. Um, and went to New York and got married at City Hall, which was amazing. We had a great time. We already had the New York trip booked and when we were deciding how to get married, we just kind of decided to roll it into that holiday. So that is all done, but this video is more of a New York vlog, I guess. It's the whole trip. There's a couple of snippets of kind of before we got married and then the after um I wasn't I, I yeah I didn't really want to include footage of the ceremony if you can call it that to be honest it was so funny um you're just kind of in a little room once you've been called through and we have a video that our witness uh, did for us and essentially the video is 56 seconds long so, yeah, and the video is vertical and, you know, like you wouldn't be able to hear what we were saying anyway and whatever. So, yeah, there are parts of it included, but to be honest, it, I was so wrapped up in the day that there's not, there's not tons, like we've got loads of photos and things. Um, I will include some now. So, please, all those. I don't 
don't know, I think it was Spanish. Either way, so that was due to hit where we live at 4 a.m. on the Thursday and last for a number of hours. It was R again, <laughs> which is just like so abnormal for us. Like, I know that some places deal with them all the time, like yearly, multiple times a year, but for us, we're just not equipped for that. Um, where we live essentially shut down. Um, we live near the sea, so you, you have to take into account whether, you know, the water's gonna be flooding loads of places. It was just, I don't know, it was just a bit crazy. The, the shops were running out of food um, because we rely on the boats to bring us food. So we were kind of getting a bit stranded in this, in this weather. So anyway, it was announced that the airport was closing. We were due to fly out at 7 a.m. So, you know, right in the middle of the storm. So I called up the airline and was like, you know, our airports have closed. They told us that the airlines are all aware of that. My flights haven't been cancelled yet, but like they will be. So can I change the flight? The flight to London is 35 minutes and they were trying to charge me 12,000 pounds because it wasn't considered a cancelled flight yet and so it was being considered as a totally a, like a totally new change to my existing booking basically ridiculous because they hadn't announced that they were cancelling the flights but I knew if I waited any longer then I would be scrambling for the flights to make all my other flights so cut a long story short we managed to book flights for the day before we were due to leave but then we had to pack everything last minute sort our dog out um and by this point of my heart is just like <laughs> so we managed to get away and that meant that because we were a day early for our flight to New York we then had to book a hotel and there's only one hotel in Heathrow Airport, which is the Sofidel, or the Sofidel, I can't, I don't know how it's pronounced, um, which is actually a really nice hotel, so I mean, I, I wouldn't care anyway, as long as we got to where we needed to be. But after that, there was relatively little drama. <laughs> um, we were very fortunate to be able to fly business class, which I've never flown before, um, but I have included snippets of the travel um, in the video. We kind of did that as a treat before we even knew we were um, getting married because I managed to find them like on a really good deal and um, I think it's like if you book far enough in advance you can, can find, you know, nice um, like business class, first class or whatever flights for um, a lot cheaper than they would usually be and it just so happened that it was when we also chose to get married so I was glad that we did that because then that meant that we had a more comfortable journey there and a new experience for me. My partner did it once before on the way back from New York when she went once before um, but yeah I mean overall we had a really amazing time. Um, did some things I've never done before, which was really lovely. So yeah, loads of um, loads of fun. On top of getting married, which was obviously something I've never done before. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, I've tried to include as much as I could without obviously not immersing myself in the experience. Um, but yeah, hopefully you get a gauge of the types of things that we did and enjoy. So guys, after all that flight rearranging stress, here we are arriving in London Heathrow. We went back to those little shops there to grab some snacks for the room, of course. Um, we then took the elevator up to London Heathrow Sofitel. Never stayed there before that I can remember and was really pleasantly surprised for a airport style hotel it was really like it was quite luxurious i think it was 179 pounds for the night for us to stay there so not cheap but we did get use of the spa we 
got room service, that was really good. And just for the, the knowledge of knowing that we were not going to miss our flights, it was 110% worth the money. Um, so this was us arriving, you have like a little sweet shop, and we went to the local, local restaurant. <laughs> Macy's was all done up and it was 
we went on is called the, I think it was called the Changing Seasons Ferry, I want to say that that's what it was, but yeah, essentially you go along the river and you have a narrator who tells you all about the areas on the New Jersey side and the Manhattan side, um, and you look at the Palisades and the autumn, um, the autumn leaves, um, which were a lot brighter than they are showing in, in the images that I've captured, but, I mean, I feel like that's always the case, you can never quite master the art of capturing all the colours, but the town was so cute, like, I've not really been to the US in terms of, like, going to smaller towns, but that is something I really want to do, I want to road trip through, but this is exactly kind of what I would picture being in, like, a Christmas Hallmark love story movie, um, we found this little bumblebee, well, he's not bumblebee, but he's a bee, and he needed a little, little respite, so we gave him a fruit pastel <laughs> to kind of replenish his energy, which, I mean, if I had something healthier for him, of course I would have done that, but needs must. So this is actually the day before the wedding, guys. And there we are, there I am as a bride. So this is one of the few clips that you'll have from the actual day. Um, I did not say a word in this car. I was, I had a little bit of pre-wedding angst, but we went to this lovely restaurant afterwards called The Fulton. That is one of the two cocktails that got me very drunk. The food was delicious and they got us a little cake to say congratulations. Um, but yeah, a really, really special day. And then we went for a couple of drinks at, oh, I can't remember what it was called, but a nice hotel. <laughs> I then wanted to go and get some merch from Columbia University, so I went and got a jumper from them. And then we went Target. Um, obviously we don't have anything like that where we're from, so yeah, we kind of just did all the very stereotypical American shops because I love having a nosy. Um, we then got hungry and went to Wagamama, just probably one of my all-time favourite places to eat, so I was buzzing when I saw that on Google Maps. Then my wife and I went for a walk through Central Park, there she is. Um, I hadn't done that side of Central Park before, it kind of always stayed central, so it was quite nice doing the, um, west side of, the, um, of Central Park. We went back to Chelsea Markets because then we had dinner down at a place called, oh my god, I'm so terrible with names at the minute. But again, is what the restaurant is called, I've just remembered, but it's absolutely beautiful. My wife has been there once before, I'd never been, so that's where we decided to for our final meal. Um, the food was 10 out of 10. So good. I would say the starters were the best. I like sort of tapas style food, so that was amazing. And that was us kind of soaking up the last of the views on our last night before we had to get up to go to the airport the next day, which is now. That's us leaving. Um, we flew out of Newark Airport. I've only ever flown in and out of JFK. So it was quite nice actually to kind of have a little nosy at the views and drive on the New Jersey side of things to kind of see, again, like that, that different view. Um, we kind of Ubered most places or used the subway. I was not brave enough to use the bus. Um, I, I will use the bus in the UK, but I was, I don't know what the system is over there. And this was us back in the lounge uh, of BA, I had some nice food there, like a curry and a burger, which was really good, and I managed to sleep for a little while, and <laughs> that was just me, like, amazed with all the options available, and this is our final bit of home. much a 
as I would have done if we weren't getting married. Um, I was kind of just very conscious I wanted to just embrace the whole trip and it was the first time we'd been there together. I do want to get better at the blogging. I do think I'm possibly going to set up a vlog style channel in the future so it's good practice for me and for me to see what I need to do better. Um, but yeah, I had a great time on this trip, a great time filming it. Lovely to kind of do the voiceover to relive the memories. Um, 